Welcome to Lesson 2 for the Speech Writing Process. I'm Jennifer Furlong, Communication and Public Speaking Instructor. In this lesson, we will look at five different ways you can organize the main points of your speech. If you would like a refresher on the preliminary part of the speech writing process and how to narrow down and focus the purpose of your speech, you can review Lesson 1. Before we look at the organizational patterns, it's important to note two things. One, your speech should always contain no less than two main points and no more than five main points. And two, when deciding which organizational pattern to use and how many points to use, consider the time you have to cover the topic as well as which organizational pattern would make the best fit for your specific purpose. In short, be strategic when organizing the speech. It will ensure you present a speech that is easy to follow and easy to understand. Let's begin. The first organizational pattern you'll see here is also the most common organizational pattern used in speech writing. It's called the topical organizational pattern. That means you take a topic like fireworks and break it down into subtopics. For example, let's say you're doing an informative speech about the most popular fireworks used during the 4th of July. If you organize according to the topical organizational pattern, you could focus the main points on the types of fireworks like Roman candles, bottle rockets, and artillery shells. Or, as another example, you could focus the main points of the speech on the top selling brands of fireworks like Bold City, the Great American Value Pack, and Mob Madness. Again, the point is you're breaking down the main topic into subtopics. Remember, every speech will have at least two main points and no more than five main points, depending on how much time you have. Notice the specific purpose statement and the central idea statement included on this slide. If you write a clear central idea, it can also help you figure out how to best organize and write focused, easy to follow, and easy to understand main points as shown here for the body of the speech. The last slide showed you how to organize the main points using the topical organizational pattern. This slide shows you how you can organize the main points of your speech according to the chronological organizational pattern. As you can probably guess, this is a great way to organize your speech if your topic is focused on explaining a timeline of events or perhaps a process like how fireworks are made. And going with the same topic as the last slide, we can now change the entire focus of the speech just by changing the organizational pattern from topical order to chronological order, as you can see here in this example of main points. So far, we've seen how we could present an informative speech on the topic of fireworks, organizing it using topical order and chronological order. This slide shows the spatial organizational pattern and how it can create yet another speech on the same topic of fireworks. The spatial organizational pattern breaks down a topic into a geographic or into directional patterns. For this example, you can see how by focusing on the structure of an aerial firework, the body will include four main points that explain the makeup of the firework going from outside in. The last three slides showed you examples of how to use different organizational patterns to write different informative speeches on the topic of fireworks. They included the topical order, chronological order, and the spatial order. We're going to switch gears now and use two different topics for the final two organizational patterns. In this example, we see the causal organizational pattern. Using the causal order, you will always have two main points in the body of the speech. If we were to write an informative speech focusing on the negative effects of Ritlin, we could organize it according to the causal order. The first main point will explain the cause and the second main point will explain the effect. As you can see here, you would first explain why children are being prescribed the medication and then you would follow up with concrete examples of the side effects that are linked with the medication. So remember, Causal organization will always have just two main points, cause and effect. 
This is the last of the five organizational patterns being reviewed here in Lesson 2. This final organizational pattern is called Problem Solution Order. Although it is possible to use this organizational pattern for an informative speech, we'll change it up here and look at an example of problem solution and how to use it to organize a persuasive speech. Let's say you want to create an argument in favor of getting rid of the Electoral College. With the problem solution order, you would first explain why there is a need for change. In other words, what's the problem? After explaining the problem, you then explain how to best solve the problem. You'll notice the problem solution order contains just two main points, much like the causal order. If you wanted to create a more in-depth argument, you could combine the last two organizational patterns and create a problem cause solution argument. In that case, you would have three main points where you would first explain the problem, then explain what caused the problem, and in the final point, explain your solution to the problem. Of course, you need to consider uh, your presentation time that you have to make your argument and uh, decide whether you want to combine the organizational patterns to create your speech. Well, that's it for lesson two of the speech writing process. As always, please feel free to visit my website at www.communication247.com. Or if you have any questions or would like to see a lesson on a specific speech topic, shoot me an email. If you're not a current student of mine, email me at my Gmail address here at speechteach912 at gmail.com. But reminder, if you are a current student, you know the rules. Email me using your official school email. Um, and you should be emailing my official school email address. If you don't know it, it's in the syllabus. And a final note, this lesson is based on The Art of Public Speaking, 12th edition by Dr. Stephen Lucas. You can find this textbook online and at most bookstores. Thank you. Have a great day.